Hello, St. Bernard's families. My name is Letty Gomez, and this email is a welcoming email to all the students and families to a new school year, a different school year. And it's also an email to welcome you to a new ministry year. We continue to do ministry every week. We took a break so all your students would be able to get um, comfortable with their schedule as they do distant learning but we are ready to meet with all of them. We had a survey out last week and we heard back from most of you and it seems like six o'clock in the afternoon is the best time for the families to um, log in and be part of our Zoom meetings. So on Mondays, starting this Monday the 17th, our Junior High Edge group will start meeting at six o'clock and on Wednesday the 19th, it'll be our first um, high school meeting for our high school students at six o'clock. This email will have all the links and passwords for your children to be able to log in. As always, as all of our meetings are always open to the parents, whether we were meeting in person or now in virtually, parents are always welcome to sit with their children or logging in a different computer if you want to check it out or be part of our ministry or just um, sneak into what we do when we talk about every meeting. During this time, community is more important than anything, especially as we are stuck at home or with all the limitations we have to be community with our friends. So I really encourage parents to take a leap of faith and push your kids a little bit to join us. It is awkward at the beginning. I understand nobody's comfortable and the majority of us would rather meet in person. When COVID started, we decided to jump into our Zoom calls automatically. We did not want to stop meeting with our teens. We wanted to make sure our teens knew that we missed them, but overall, that they knew they had a place that was familiar despite all the changes that were happening. Even though we didn't know how to use the equipment and we kept on hanging up the call ahead of time and we needed to kill so much time in order to get things right over and over again, I really feel that we achieved that, that we created a virtual place for our teens to feel welcome, to feel that the people that were waiting for them on the other line were eager to continue to laugh with them, to talk to them, to hear about their week, to hear about their frustrations and their sadness and their one good thing that they had going on that week or the great things that were happening at home or not. So parents, as a mother, I speak to you as a mother of three children, two adult ones and a baby one, I really wish and hope that my kids continue to have a place like the one that St. Bernard's Youth Group has been able to create throughout the years. And COVID is not going to be the exception. It's not going to be the reason for us to shut down. It's not going to be the reason for us not to continue to have great adult witnesses and leaders that want to walk with your teens, that want to continue to share their faith journey. Throughout our years in ministry with St. Bernard's, it is amazing to see all the great young adults that we've raised as a community. Um, and I look forward to continue to meet our future leaders, which happens every year. Every year, I don't know which one of your kids are going to say yes completely to the Lord and continue to witness to their peers. From Acts 2.42, this always gets me and I believe this is really our motto. It says, they devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and the communal life, to the breaking of the bread and to the prayers. We're not going to be able to break bread together right now in person but we can definitely say cheers across the virtual screen. But we're definitely praying together. We're sharing, we're being community. And community looks really different right now. 
But we are people of faith, and we know that the Lord does not make mistakes. And I know deep in my heart, after so much prayer, I know that this is where we are meant to be. And we were meant to live this days, this times. And we were created for this times. I've talked to so many of the young people lately, virtually, and they are great. So I hope that you encourage your children to come to our meetings and continue to grow with us because we're not going anywhere. And teens, if you're watching this, I encourage you to take that leap of faith. Most of you know us. It's just family. So I wish you all the best year, COVID style. I hope to see you Monday and Wednesday. And we hopefully will have many surprises that the Lord has in store for us. So be part of our family so we can all live those new surprises together. God bless you and see you in Zoom.